planning for a fun, awesome weekend adventure and looking for an outdoor city of cycling and picnics in a picturesque green space? Then join me in spending an incredible day at Coney Island. Let's go! To help you plan an incredible day in this awesome park, this video will guide you on what are the things that you can do and will give you a tour around Coney Island. To reach Coney Island, you need to take the train going to Pungul. Go out via exit C and head to the bus interchange. Ride bus 84 to Pungul Point Park. Here are some of the things that you need to bring on your trip to Coney Island. When you reach the end of the bus route, right before Pungul Point Park, we'll pass by an ice cream uncle. You can buy a delicious ice cream before you start your activities and be calorie loaded or right before you go home. Point Park is a beautiful huge pond in the middle and a toilet right next to it. Nearby the pond, there's an elevated lookout deck where you can soak in the laid-back coastal atmosphere and a view of Pulau Ubin and Johor Strait. You can see an old jetty below the viewing deck where it is not used anymore. You can see people fishing in this old jetty. Now it's time to rent a bike. There's a bike rental station nearby the viewing deck. You need to rent a bike to fully explore Coney Island. Although, you can also walk if you prefer to, you probably need more than half a day if you want to go around the island on foot. The bike rental is $8 per hour for a mountain bike. There's also another bike rental at Pungul Settlement Building, which is next to Pungul Point Park. The Pungul Settlement Building houses various food and beverage outlets. There's no need to worry when you are hungry after your trip around Coney Island. If you want to buy some snacks for your trip, or if you're planning for a picnic, there's 7-Eleven inside the building. Please do not forget to buy enough water to keep you hydrated. We love a good day outdoor for a walk, cycling, or maybe a picnic to a place that is close to nature. Coney Island, Singapore has gotta be one of our favorites. It has a long stretch of white sand beaches and a handful of flora and fauna. Its untouched trails stretch across mangroves, coastal forests, grasslands, and Casuarina woodlands. As the location is a little isolated, Plan to spend half a day at Coney Island to make the most of your trip. Coney Island's wide variety of habitats make this island a haven for nature and wildlife enthusiasts. So what are the top things to do in Coney Island? Well, to start your trip, before you go in and dive into an unforgettable weekend adventure, Take a photo either the east or the west entrance before you kick off your activities. Both entrances look the same. Now let's explore Coney Island. Head towards the west promenade and spend some time at the area. You can sit on the stairs and chill while looking at the sea view and Pulau Ubin from a distance. Coney Island has a long biking trail surrounded by rustic greenery on all sides, which you will see throughout this video. Our next stop is the beach area. While 
cycling on the main path, look out for signs that will direct you to any of the five beach areas. While these beach spots are not comparable to Bali in Indonesia or Baraka in the Philippines, they provide a quiet seaside wake after you sweat it out on the bikes. We recommend beach areas C to E for tranquil types. Here are videos taken from beach areas A and B. Please take note that fishing, camping, open fires, and barbecuing are not allowed on the beach. This beach has been kept rustic, so you may occasionally encounter sand flies and other insects. It's advisable to wear long pants and covered shoes. And please don't forget to apply your insect repellent. The next thing that you can do is spotting wildlife. Butterflies, birds, and squirrels make Coney Island Singapore their home. With over 80 species of birds on the island, it's not hard to catch a glimpse of these creatures busy at work in their natural habitat. Unfortunately, I forgot to take videos of them. Next is cycling around the island. The park's rustic terrain makes cycling bumpy at times, but rest assured it's a breezy and enjoyable experience. Cycle along the 2.5km Coney Island Park Connector or follow the signs to navigate your way to the beaches. Anyone may find yourself veering off the beaten path, literally. And lastly, feel free to take a nice long stroll around the park on your own. If you're not keen on cycling, walk under the canopy of towering trees and get closer to nature. For your information, there's one toilet near each of the entrance. The best time to visit Coney Island is in the morning or late evening to avoid the blistering sun. Though Coney Island is mostly shaded by huge trees, areas outside the park and at Pungul Settlement are not. Keep in mind also that the park is closed from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. If you find this video helpful, do comment and share it with your friends. If you want to see more videos about Singapore, please consider subscribing. Hope you guys will have a great time at Coney Island. This is awesome! More and more people are feeling a loss of connection with nature. As big cities grow, and smartphones and other technology become increasingly important in our lives. Time in nature is important to our health in general. It has been linked to lowering levels of depression, boosting one's immune system, and other wonderful benefits. There's nothing quite like being with nature. It provides an explicable sense of tranquil awareness. Nature reduces stress and helps us find meaning and connect with our true selves. Humans were never meant to be confined by concrete and steel 100% of the time. Within these environments, it's easy to feel like you're just another face in the crowd. But when we stepped into nature, 
we are reminded that all living organisms are connected. Nature in the purest sense is where both serenity and wildness coexist in harmony. When we visit nature, we feel both peaceful and easy all at once. Perhaps this is because all life began in nature and all life ends there. Nature is the universe's greatest teacher. It whispers to us that even in the midst of chaos, life, it finds a way to carry on. If you like this video, please consider subscribing.